Let's see. What's going on everyone, man? It's Zuko here. And today I have for you guys the most in-depth sort of guide on how to make yourself tanky in this game. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you multiple things and a lot much more than just do this, do this, do this. I want to show you why and I'm going to show you how so that way when it's time for you to build your, your character or what you're trying to go for with your character, you're going to know exactly what you want to do and how you should do it. So let's just go ahead and start off with this. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to take all of these off. Take all of that off. And then I want you to go into your modules and I want you to take everything off and save it. Then I want you to go up here and then I want you to look at this. I want you to look at which value is the highest. Whichever value is the highest, that's the one that I want you to go for. Now, this won't be the same for every character, so just kind of pay attention to that. Another thing I want you to also pay attention to is your character skills. For example, as an Enzo, he has this ability here where he recovers shields by a percentage, which means however large that number is, he's going to recover however large that number is by that percentage, not by a set value. In short, if you want to make a million dollars, normally shields recover like, let's say, $1 an hour. Well, he said. I always saw. That's why I'm like squinting my eyes because he's on Enzo. I saw that TLDR that only works on that character. And I'll give you 25% an hour. You, you kind of get what I'm saying? So basically, the higher your goal is, it doesn't matter. You're always going to get 25%. So with that being what? said, it might be worth investing into shields with Enzo because of the simple fact that you make it to where... Bro. You can naturally regen shields off of an ability. And that is an extremely strong perk. And I'm going to show you exactly why you would and would not want to do certain things. So first things first that I want you to see is, just go in here and we're going to type in shields. Notice how this is 151. Notice how this is 158. And then we're going to have another one here that says plus 31, right? Boom. We're giving ourselves 341% worth of shields, which means however much shields we get in here. Now look at our shields. We're at 2,000. This is really, really good, which means the higher that we can get our base number. Dude, why am I watching this video? This sort of the, uh, uh, high base values. The game basically makes it to where if a boss was going to do 2,000 damage, well, that 2,000 damage isn't going to mean that much whenever you have over 7,000 shields. We already, we already cool went through this. Is, Didn't we already saw a video about this? About the actual math being presented? We already saw a video. We already saw a video on, on that stuff. They naturally regenerate. Now, this is a, a very important thing about shields compared the to- The math AP. guy. Shields regenerate. This one. Yeah, I think there's a math guy that d lays out all the equations for us. But that's too much work. This guy, this guy is my uh, fucking daddy. <laughs> this guy, literally, Chad, how are you, how are you gonna trust anybody else? You know that this means this guy means business when he has a fucking blackboard in the back this means that at some point in time you get incredibly diminishing returns i have found this number around 40 to 50 thousand defense this is basically the most bang for your this seems reasonable so like I'm, i was already lost at the beginning of this game when this guy look what he says at the beginning same for every character to look at this I want you to look at which value is the highest. Uh huh. Whichever value. Which value is the highest, chat? In this case, it would be defense, right? It's the highest. That's the one that I want you to go for. Now, this one. And there you go. It has been answered in the first 50 seconds of this video. I just saved you a fucking shit ton of 17. He literally says it at the beginning of his fucking video. It's the highest. But then I want you to look at this. I want you to look at which value is the highest. In this case, Chad, it's defense. Am I right? And in most characters, I think all characters, it's defense. Whichever value is the highest, that's the one that I want you to go for. Now, thank you. I will. Buck, as far as defense goes, you can go higher, but really, there's no real need to because around this to get another 10 percent decrease see this this guy explains the math behind it so this is defense chat so it scales this way you get 10 percent increase 10 percent increase right from 2000 and you double it to 4000 8000 16000 32000 40 to 50k is the soft cap for defense anything else above 40 to 50k ish it is diminishing returns for the content that we have available right now if you push for more tankiness you're going to have to get a crazy amount of defense which might not even be worth it this is when you start applying other stuff like um more hp or more um resistance if you can uh, afford it in your builds so you'd have to get unless you are ajax or another class unless you are what ajax you or another class then you can who tanks more the sixty thousand defense or the twenty five thousand defense hi i'm angry hat and today i came to bust some myths on let's, defense in the let's first see descendant. this chat many people many youtubers seem to say that 
packing defense around 50,000 is the way to go. And I am here to... I hope that this guy didn't test this theory on normal mobs and he also went and applied it to bosses. To tell you, I'm just going to say that. I hope that he also applied this logic at bosses and not just trash mobs. Wrong. You should not listen to them. Okay. So what I'm going to do for you today, I'm going to show you why you should never, ever get this number. Okay. Do not focus on the defense. So long story short, defense is a metric of tanking, right? Just like HP. The more HP you have, the okay. more tanky you are because you can soak more damage before yeah. you die. Very yeah, easy yeah. and everybody. And that's why I always tell everybody to focus on HP first and foremost, then defense and then resistance and then like never shields. He understands that. Now, defense is mitigates the damage. So you reduce the damage you take. However, it works with diminishing returns, which means the more module you add, the more components you add, the less profit you make off the defense. Okay, so it yeah. doesn't actually make you tankier. What it does, it makes you think that you're tank tankier on paper, but in reality, you're squishy okay. as a bloody mosquito. And that's just what I'm going to show you today. Mosquito. Instead, you should go for HP. But before we do that, let me replenish the supplies. We are here on hard mode on Hajos. I'm just going to do a quick mission. And we're not going to do a mission. We're just going to tank some damage. So you see how fast you die. I'm just going to stand still and tell them, come at me, brah. Shoot me, brah. And see how much tank we actually have. We're on Freyna, which is consider, uh, considered one of the squishier descendants. Um, and we're going to transform her into Rhino. I mean, Ajax. Oh, look, look, look. I died. Okay. But I know. I mean, Ajax. Uh, considered one of the squishier descendants. Um, and we're going to transform her into Rhino. I mean, Ajax. Oh, look, 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 I died, okay? But okay. Hold, hold on your horses, we're gonna do it again. Just look at the health bar and look how much damage I can actually take. Boom, I'm pretty much dead, okay? Now, you see, this happens over a couple of seconds. Let's just do it again, so you don't think I'm lying to you, already, okay? I don't want to make this video too long, but I like to see her die. Wait, what? Now, let's abort the mission. I it doesn't matter how much defense you got, since it caps at 80% of the incoming damage. I think you got the point. Yeah, you and got I don't the think he understands that. Now, this is on 60,000 defense. This is on 60,000 defense. Everybody's gonna argue, like, oh, yeah, but you should go for 50,000. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't go over 25,000, 30,000 your Ajax. That's it. You should never go more than that because it's just useless components that you're adding for no reason. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna grind yourself HP components instead. Wonder why? Hmm? You wanna know why? Eh? Because if you add HP instead, you can get Freyna to 18k HP. I'm just gonna say that again. 18,000 HP. And still maintain a solid 24k defense. We're gonna go back with only 24k defense. And now we're gonna take the same damage from this guy. We're gonna do the same thing just so you get an idea. And then I will explain to you why you should build HP instead of defense if you're interested. Otherwise, just take a look at this and you tell me if you don't notice any difference. Like, why Thank you for speeding up this boring video. HP. Stop being mean! <sighs> I don't even have a watch on me. I think I could go get a watch. Oh, yeah, I died. All right. Okay. So this guy is basically saying the same thing this guy is saying. It's literally the same, but he explains the math behind it. 80 to 100,000 defense, which on a build that's not Ajax or Kyle, not worth it. Now we need to go over elemental resistances. Elemental resistances are subtractive. You do not apply an elemental resistance to your defense to increase the amount of damage that you don't take. At 4,000, this became... But kind of, but it's misleading because he's testing it on mobs and not bosses. Uh, let's just do this again. So just you get a, you get yeah, a feeling uh, for how... Apparently, uh, someone said that he tested it on bosses, right? HP, correct? Out of 3,800, which will effectively send me to 4,200. Right. Uh, 646 HP. He didn't do 25k defense with the exact same HP. He had 60k defense. So how is that accurate test? I don't know, Chad. I don't know. Nine and at 8,000. It's around 15. This number is kind of hard to achieve. And I've had some misconsistencies with this number specifically. I don't know why. All I can tell you is that for defense, the power of defense is going to look like this and then elemental resistance is going to cap out at something like this so for the most damage you'd really want 
to spin your skill to get around this point, which is about five to seven K elemental resistances for the thing that you're fighting. If you care that much, to be honest with you, due to how this works, elemental resistances isn't even that important. The higher in difficulty you go, the less the elemental resistances will help you, which sounds self-explanatory, yes. but I mean that in a different sense. If I have a static minus five, do you think that that is going I to help me? Math. Again? I prefer math too. Against the hard mode pyromancer, probably not. And this is just what I got when I was testing. There might be a lot of other factors to consider, but regardless of all of the factors to consider, around five to 7,000 elemental resistances is where you're gonna start running into very high diminishing returns. And 40 to 50,000 defense is where you're going to start running into high diminishing returns. The attack that was hitting me went from 111 to 104. Seven days. This guy actually went out there and did the math chat. Damage is not worth my He's time. He's not going out there in some fucking open world trash monster and letting him beat up on you. At this point of the defense. And he explains were... all of the math here, which pretty much coincides with this guy's, what this guy is doing as well. But to say that you can get away with just 20k HP, well, you can. But the most optimal strat would be to get yourself to closer to 40k defense. And anything above that is diminishing returns. You want to focus on HP. Ain't nobody and their mother has ever said, hey, focus on defense over HP. I don't think anybody anywhere has ever said that. Everybody, including myself, have always preached HP greater than defense, greater than resistance, greater than shields. I have said that many, many times. For Ajax. Basically get 10K HP and 30K plus defense and you're good. That's literally, exactly. And the reason you don't want to start focusing on resistance, by the way, is because you'll make your other shit suffer. If you had infinite amount of module space, sure, put some fucking defense on there, bro. Why not? But you don't have that option. You don't have that option. So if you wanted to get more tankier and get more out of your modules, HP, defense, resistance if you can afford it, and then shields. If we're talking about infinite space, sure, why not get resistance? But we're not talking about that. You're confined to having the sock sockets that you have. And also, it's not like your bitch ass can just type a resistance here and find the same modules all across because you're not. Because all of them are different sockets. So if you wanted to build a resistance build, good fucking luck. Because the game doesn't allow you to be that efficient. Good fucking luck stacking 8k resistance in all elements without suffering on your rest of your modules. It is impossible. You, you, you can't. You're going to be suffering in, uh, in more ways than one. So the best thing to do when gearing up your descendants is focus on HP, defense, and fuck all resistance to begin with. Because it has already been proven that HP and defense work way better than shields and resistance. HP and defense work way better than the others. HP, if you can get more HP, do the HP route, absolutely. Enzo being the exception. I think Ajax as well, right? I think Ajax works really well with a lot of defense as well. I don't know much about these other descendants that work well with this and this and that, but for the most part, everybody should focus on HP and defense. And if you want my true honest opinion, you're kind of griefing yourself trying to implement these toxins or these resistance into your build because this game doesn't have these sockets properly allocated. This one is fucking Ratatouille. This one is Xantic. This one is Cerulean. This one is Adamantine. And before you bitches say, well, there's one that does all of them, Ellie. The, the all attributes, look at this. This is, a, this is bullshit. This isn't good enough. You level them up? Well, of course I level them up because I tested them. That's why I'm able to tell you that this is stupid. 
I tested them. I tested all of them. I put resistance. I took this. I reset my modules. I did everything. And I am telling you that resistance is just shit. Just get HP and defense instead. And it's less annoying and you don't have to play around with socket modules. Allocating your shit around uh, resistance is not good. You're going to be suffering in damage or suffering in one other aspect because you decided to leave an empty slot for an antibody. It's won't, it won't work. It doesn't work. If you had additional sockets or universal sockets, that is a better solution. But right now this doesn't exist. So antibodies are a little bit cringe. What is the best HP number? You're pretty good having anything above 10k HP. Uh, you're good having 10k HP and about close to 40 defense if you can get there. Uh, either you can swap more HP for defense or a little more defense for HP. I don't think these two numbers are too crazy or you're going to get too crazy of the results if you have 16k HP and 20k defense. I don't think you're going to get very vastly different numbers for having more this and more that. I think HP and defense are interchangeable as long as you don't exceed 40 to 50k defense you're chilling anything above 40 to 50k defense i think it's a little excessive and you're going to get diminishing returns for it so i think you can interchange hp for defense i'm doing a mixture of both and it works out for me and i don't want to fuck around with resistance because resistance though not completely useless it just doesn't have enough module space to free up. You don't have a lot of module space to play around with, with resistance. If we had universal slots, um, or you wanted to build your descendant from ground up with tankiness in mind, and only tankiness in mind, then you could fuck with resistance. But if you're trying to be a versatile character for bossing, farming, blah, 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 you cannot afford resistance on your builds. You cannot. It's just not enough space for fucking around with resistance. It's better to just focus on HP and defense. Yeah. And that's my take on the whole st uh, subject. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you... YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you, viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away. But all the success of this channel relies on you. And I'm very thankful if you hit that comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias. Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art, new stuff. If you want to see more of this, follow me everywhere. Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.